everybody. Teresa with Reef Addiction RN. How is everybody? Everybody doing good? I do not understand. I do not understand. Hi, Sheena. How are you? There we go. Still not what I want. So, how is everybody? I'm doing good. Oh my gosh, you did it to me again. I, I'm just not going to do it. I don't know why it's doing that. I have no idea. So, anyway. All right, so um, I have a couple things to share with you first. So I actually got up the courage and I added some ribbon to my Etsy store. So um, I'm and anything that I have is usually on a 50 yard roll. Oh, crud. I need to remember what I needed to do. I have to go back there and adjust that. I need to make myself a note. So this is going to be um, not on a roll. I need to add that to the link. That it's not going to be on a roll. Um, so it'll be cut off of this. And then I also have these two little wooden guys that I have decided I'm probably not going to use. So I added those to my Etsy store as well. Hi, Sybil from Florida. Night. Thank you for joining. So these are on there as well. Uh, they'll go in a bubble, bubble uh, mailer. Um, so anyway, so um, if you're interested in that, those are on the Etsy store. And, um, so anyway, and then so far I have these two ribbons listed. Like I said, it'll be, your stuff will be cut off of these rolls if you decide that you want something. Three, six, nine, and 12 yards is what I got listed. So I need to change that on there. I've got like pictures um, on my um, phone, so I'm maybe adding some more tonight, but I wanted to, you know, hop on tonight and do a live. So, I've been listening to everybody say that they have made, I know it's a cute truck, thanks. Hi, Sharon, Sharon, thanks for joining. So, um, hey, dogs, you guys have not been down here messing with me all day, and then I decide to go live, and you decide to be noisy. So, anyway, so, um, People have been saying like they've been making wreaths, they don't put signs on them. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna do one and see what happens. So that's what we're doing. So this is my 14 inch frame, Dollar Tree frame that I make myself. It has a total of 18 ties on it. And the middle row here, or the inner circle is full ties and there's six of them, one on each crossbar. There's six. And then on the crossbars on the outside is where the half pipe cleaners go. Thor and Lucy. Hey, go. Go on. They're just like children. I'm not kidding. I've been home all day and been in this basement all day. And they have not been down here. Lucy's been sleeping in her bed. Thor's been sleeping on the couch. They have not been bothering me. From Pennsylvania thanks Deborah for joining so and then the small ones are here so and tonight I think I'm gonna put a funky bow in these these will not get a um, they will not get a, uh, a ruffle but they may get a funky bow because I have ribbon ready for a funky bow I just have to cut it if we decide we want it hey Karen how are you hi Bev so we're going to get started with the burlap and if I run out of this I have another thing of burlap over here. If you wouldn't mind blessing my page, sprinkling the love, I greatly appreciate it. Um, we are at 874 for uh, YouTube 
and uh, I just thought I'd come over here tonight and do this live over here but um, actually it does do me more good to, to go on live on YouTube but we'll be okay so we're getting closer 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 so please spread the love on that direction as well hi Deborah thanks for joining so um, I'm gonna start before this tie right here I cannot believe these dogs I just cannot even believe it so uh, like I said we're at 874 so we need to get to a thousand we are close 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 I'm so excited and um, and I'll be giving away this ribbon box over here for everybody that subscribed. So this is the ribbon box. And, uh, or a wreath or a $35 gift card. So it's something for everyone, right? If you don't want the ribbon box, you can get the gift card. Uh, if you're a crafter, I'm sure the gift card will come in handy. So, um, so I tied that there and we're going to do 10 inch poofs, about 10 inch poof. And this mesh probably came from Hobby Lobby. I usually do get their burlap. Hey Amanda. So I forgot to put on my listing that it will not be coming in a roll. I need to make sure I go back and change that and put that in the description somewhere. I don't know where I need to put that but that the ribbon will not be on a roll. It will be um, cut, it will be cut from the 50 yard roll. So anyway, so, but we are getting closer and um, I'm only 10 away from 3,500 on Facebook. So I greatly appreciate that. Everybody that has subscribed to my Facebook page, I totally appreciate that as well. I do have a Pinterest page. You just would go follow that, you know, all the social media stuff. Uh, I realize that you guys are crafters just like me, but it just helps our stuff get seen more. And then when people follow me, I follow them back. So, so that we're all in this together, right? Right. So, yeah, I felt like an old dog learning new tricks again today. Like I tried to um, <laughs> post stuff on Pinterest. Because I just, I realized that I didn't have a lot of stuff in some of my, in some of my boards, right? That I didn't have a lot of stuff pinned to one of my boards. So I thought, well, Halloween's coming up. I realize not a long way away, but we're going to be starting to make Halloween. And I have like four Halloween things that are currently in my, um, thank you, Sheena, in my shop right now. So I thought, well, I'll just get those posted to Etsy. Or not Etsy, but to Pinterest. So guess what? Because I have no idea what I'm doing, I have duplicates of each and every wreath that I have <laughs> on Pinterest. So I was like, okay, well, that's fun. <laughs> oh, goodness, I'll figure it out. So last night I was up until like 1 o'clock in the morning watching Lori's um, stuff on how to um, uh, do Pinterest, but clearly that wasn't one of the part of the training. <laughs> but Amanda helps me out so much. I appreciate her. She's a godsend. And she helped me through the listings and all that stuff. Oh, thank you, Judy. Just make sure you find on, uh, on my Wreath Addiction page, there's a King Sumo. So please sign up so that you're in the drawing to possibly win some ribbon or whatever, you know, or the gift card, whichever you choose. So, hey Chris, how are you? Hey Chris, I need you to go to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can get to a thousand subscribers. You and Cindy both, please. Once I can get to a thousand subscribers, then, you know, we have a little bit more options as far as earning an income on YouTube and just gets our stuff seen more, helps me get more views to my Etsy store. It's all about the, what? Algorithms, that's the word I'm looking for. Algorithms. <laughs> you do not, you know a lot. Sometimes we don't know together, but, but sometimes we both kind of flounder our way through it, don't we? 
So, so this is a, going to be a first for me. I don't know if I have ever, ever made a wreath. Hi, Diane. Diane, if you would please do me a favor. You may not even have YouTube, but if you would go to YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm trying to get to a thousand on YouTube. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. So, I'll probably be calling you on Friday, lady. Um, if you're working. Hi, Penny. How are you feeling? Everybody's doing well? Thanks for joining, everybody. If you wouldn't mind sprinkling the love to your personal page, that will help my the algorithms as well. So, like Chris and Diane, if you would just hit the S-H-A-R-E button. Facebook doesn't like us to say that. I don't know why. They're a little controlling. <laughs> but anyway, they don't. So we say bless or sprinkle the love. Uh, bless our page means the uh, same as the S-H-A-R-E. So um, I'm going to actually get a uh, little sign that says that. So, so anyway, how is everybody tonight? Everybody in, having a good hump day? You're in a little pain? Okay, Penny. Well, thank you for hopping on. We've been thinking about you. I can only imagine. So, thank you for hopping on and spreading the love. I totally appreciate it. Totally appreciate it. You're welcome. Penny just had knee surgery, right? Wasn't it knee surgery, Penny? This morning. Did they have you up and walking around today? Pretty sure. She went night-night. I think Amanda, if unless she fell asleep too, because she's going to bed. Because she's going to um, Craig Bachman. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Thanks for joining. You would take a moment and uh, spread the love. Basically, that means just hit the S-H-A-R-E button, the share button. Facebook doesn't like us to say that, but I have a lot of new people, local people that are from around here that don't really uh, know the lingo, I guess, yet. So the lingo is, as we say, bless our page or sprinkle the love. Um, and that just means sharing it so people on your Facebook like that might be interested in some crafts might want to purchase something from me or they just might want to watch maybe I'll give them an idea that's what I did I watched somebody else make a wreath and then I decided to make a wreath hi Louise you're ready for sleep hi Dottie you're awake for now so didn't Penny have knee surgery Amanda because she was on your live today at 1230 I thought it was knee surgery. Hi, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget to later on, once this live's over, go to my page and um, click the King Sumo because you want to be entered in the drawing. You might win $35 or ribbon. I would want the ribbon. I don't care. I already have all that ribbon, but I would still want it. <laughs> I would still want it. I've already just placed another order with Amanda that I'm going to have to get with her on to get it picked up. So, yes, I'm a ribbon hoarder. Knee replacement, thanks. So, but I am, I am finally getting, um, getting a, a rid of some of my ribbon. Not rid of it. I'm selling some of the 50-yard rolls. I'm sharing. I'm not getting rid of it. I'm sharing. Uh, my ribbon so and I think it's being sold at a pretty reasonable price so um, I won't get rich off of that but I don't want to so yeah knee replacement not fun huh yeah my husband just had like um, some what do you do he had some kind of like they scraped or something did something with his knee and that was awful enough I can't even imagine what it would be like whenever he has to have a knee replacement yeah, your mom had knee replacement. Yep, exactly. Yikes. Absolutely. All right, so there's the bottom row. 
I'm going to move up to the top. I always do this backwards. Amanda does hers the opposite way. I don't know. I just like to be difficult. My husband will agree with that. I was just thinking about like how many followers I would need to have in order for my husband to make an irregular appearance on Facebook or on YouTube with me. I was just debating on that because I saw somebody else have, I guess it was actually their brother, but I thought maybe it was their husband, but I think it was the brother. Anyway, my husband hardly ever makes an appearance. He's sitting upstairs. Actually, he's sleeping because he has an infected tooth. He went to go get a root canal yesterday and they could only do so much because his tooth is infected. So he's on an antibiotic and painkillers. He did go to work today for most of the day. And uh, then his mouth is swollen. You can see his little puffy cheek. So that's kind of a pain too. I can't even imagine mouth pains. It's not good. You s six years later and still can. Well, that's good. I couldn't do it now. I need to lose some weight. <laughs> Kneeling, getting down and kneeling is interesting. So I'm getting ready to, I'm watching um, face or not Facebook, but Weight Watchers to see when they're going to open up their classes again because I want to go to a class. I'm, hi Rachel. I'm a person that needs to go and be held accountable and step on the scale and go to the meeting. So, hi Cindy. Where are I? Um, I'm selling some Etsy. Wreath Addiction RN. It's on Etsy. I'm actually, um, I picked out, because shipping is a challenge for me as well, so I am, um, he does have a great personality. He will, I'm sure, so um, that might help us. Oh, you cannot, gotcha. Um, but I'm going to have to put him in a bubble envelope and um i you know priority mail so it's like eight dollars to, to for shipping so i am going to check into that some more on saturday to see if there's a cheaper way um i really want to do like a flat rate though um if i po possibly can so so anyway so rachel are you home or are you still traveling I don't think I'm going to be able to go to the wreath retreat. Um, they're so far saying that they're going to be able to have um, the fall festival here in my town. And I did really well at last year's fall festival. And now I even have more customers local. So um, I want to be able to do that. They're not conflicting dates, but I still work. So, okay. How do you say your name? Uh, you something Anita how do you how do you from Texas do you pronounce the you Bonita from East Texas thank you so much for joining I haven't seen you thank you I really appreciate that you guys are awesome yeah absolutely so, um, just for some of the new people that are on here, I do have a YouTube channel and I'm very, very close to, very close for me, to a thousand. So we're at 874 people, maybe 875, somebody just told me they joined, so we're around that. Once we uh, get to a thousand, I'm giving away either a ribbon box or a, um, a wreath, a small wreath that I have picked out or $35 gift card. Oh, thank you. I figured it out. Sound it out, right? Um, I'm horrible and with that kind of stuff. So I'm sorry if I butchered your name, but you are very welcome here. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you. Um, so head over to the YouTube channel. There's um, also a King Sumo uh, ad on my Facebook page and just click over there and sign up so you can get yourself some entries to win your choice of three things, the ribbon box or the wreath or a $35 gift card. But we're not gonna draw until I get to a thousand. But once, if we get to a thousand next week, oh, wouldn't that be awesome? I would just be in seventh heaven. If we got to a thousand next week, then we'll draw next week. 
I will end this, I will end it early. As soon as we get to a thousand, I'm ending it because that is like my end goal. So is a thousand. So as soon as that happens, but on the other side of that, if we don't get to a thousand by the end of the month, I'm going to extend it until we get to a thousand. So I have faith in everybody. Um, you guys are awesome. My biggest supporters. I so much appreciate everything that you guys are doing, sharing the the King Sumo and just helping me out. I so appreciate it so much. You guys are awesome. So I know some people that maybe don't understand working from home, doing a business like this, what all social media does for, I didn't realize it until I started. I mean, I knew about Facebook, but I had no idea that the, how big things got. I really did not. Oh, oh my goodness. Burlap, Ooh, it's flying through the air. Can you see it? So, and I actually think I have enough. That's awesome. Isn't that awesome whenever you can get two projects out of one mesh? Awesome. So, I feel like I've just been talking, talking, talking. I've been taking vitamin B12. That really did not give me the energy, but I have been down in this basement like for two days and poor Amanda's been stuck with me on the phone because um, I've been trying to work on all this business stuff. So, so now you guys are getting me kind of wound up here. I'm not normally this chatterbox, but okay right <laughs> we're all friends I guess I feel good because I finally did conquer a little bit of a fear I'm still nervous about shipping I don't like shipping I hate shipping but you know it's something that sometimes I have to do <laughs> so but at least I got it listed that is a huge score for me for today and I did sell an extra wreath I knew the lady was coming to pick up a wreath today and I have a bunch of my wreaths up in my dining room hanging on the wall and she bought another one hi Mary thanks for joining so that was a good day right good day all right, so there's the base. Like I said, this is not gonna have a sign if I can if I can stop from it. Thank you. I tried to make them beforehand because um, I I wanted to kind of do like a terry bow one, but I'm not good at the terry bow, so I did my version. <laughs> we'll see. I stopped to cut some bees, but. But it is what it is. I need to watch, I need to just do Terry bows for a while. You know, that's, I get comfortable in the one thing I do know how to do and then I don't do anything else. So I need to, I need to just do some Terry bows. And Amanda is an awesome teacher. I need to go back and watch her video on the bows. So another thing I was going to tell you is I have a free group and it's called Create with Addiction RN. And any of you that are crafters out there, go ahead and uh, request to be uh, in the group because that's where you can go and share your um, share your posts or your videos, your lives. Um, it's not a group for selling. But you, if you're doing lives, please share your lives in there. You can share your designs in there by all means. Um, but it's not a place to actually promote sales. But we want to support. If you have any questions, <laughs> if you have any questions, um, like crafting questions, by all means, go in there and, and ask them. Because there's so many people that are in there that have a lot of experience. Um, I've only been crafting for a couple of years, um, but 
uh, Lori's in that group. She's been crafting for a long time. She may answer some of your questions. Um, I'm in a design group and in a business group. So we'll only give so much information because, you know, we are learning as well. And um, we'll help you the best we can. Um, but if it's a lot of questions, you may need to get in a design group as well because, or a business class. So. Oh, thank you, Stacy. Stacy entered on my thing, so super happy. All right, so I'm not, um, a little different. I'm not used to doing mixing burlap and regular mesh, but I thought, what the heck? Oh my, I just had a cha-ching. Cool beans. Thank you. <laughs> That's exciting. Very exciting. So, every time I see that name Tristan, I think, oh my gosh, my son's on here. You're in the business coaching group also? That's what I thought. So my son's name is Tristan as well. <laughs> So, and it's funny because I'm Teresa and he's Tristan. So you got both of us there. Isn't that funny? It's cute. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, but the burlap is flying. <laughs> yes, I love business. Are you in, um, I love Lori's big business group. She is so kind and, oh my gosh, she has patience of a saint. Thank you, Sheena. She, I mean, like, I'm not kidding. Sometimes I feel like, you know, it's not just me, but some several of us just need to be like, I know Sunday it happened. I asked a question and then somebody else wasn't on the whole time. So then they came on, they asked the exact same question that somebody else had just asked. And Lori's like, okay. And she just shows it all over again. She is like, thank you. She is like a saint. She is definitely a saint. So, let's see, let me go over here. Don't you guys agree Lori is a saint? She is definitely a saint. So I'm just gonna stick some here, stuff here, just in case you're interested, that's everything. Just in case you're interested in anything, that's my affiliate links. Um, if you decide that you're interested in a business group or a um, design group, you're in Lori's and Damon's. Um, don't you agree though, a business group is if you're wanting to grow because there's so many ins and outs. I kind of looked at it this way. I could try and figure it out and it could take me months longer to figure it out or I could go to somebody who's already figured it out and save myself the headache of trying to figure out where to go, especially if you're trying to get business numbers, license numbers. Lori's got all kinds of files and tells you exactly like what states uh, require certain taxes, where, where to go to get your business name, find out if your business name, everything. I'm not kidding. Lori has got it together. She has lots of stuff. Oh, and Damon's. Oh, gotcha. It is a lifesaver. Absolutely. So, um, it is very, very much so. So, um, some of my mesh came from Deco. Some of it came from Scott. Some of it came from Craft Outlet. Um, I think they still had some of this. Um, in both of those. I just haven't looked for this color, to be honest with you, but lots of... Costa Rica, thank you for joining. I like to be in Costa Rica. How about you? Anybody else want to be in Costa Rica? Putting my feet in the sand. I didn't even go outside today. Well, I mean, I was out, but I mean, like, today is my last. I took three days off, and tomorrow I have to go back to work. Tomorrow I have to go back to reality. And, um... So, um, I was going to like try and enjoy some of my time out by the pool, but I was, this shirt says I procrastinated. 
I did not, Amanda needs to make me a new shirt that just says, I was too ADD today. I started on one thing, I went to another thing, I never completed the first thing. I mean, I went from cutting this stuff up, getting it ready, to uh, taking pictures of ribbon, to uh, back to finishing up this, because I'm, and then going to, um, oh, I realized I didn't have all, I didn't think I had all my tax stuff gathered up, so I started on that. And then I went back to taking more pictures, and then I went to Etsy, and then I went to Pinterest. I'm just like, I was all over the place today. Just kind of like my mouth just keeps rattling on and on and on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Please, please be, be patient with me. So, and then tomorrow I get to train a nurse. So, shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad of a day. The one thing is, is that if we don't get the charting done, he's the one that gets to go home and chart it. <laughs> oh, so, so I will probably be on YouTube tomorrow night, and I'm going to do the paint stick, and I actually have it ready. So, uh, just a little preview. Paint stick is ready. We're going to do a paint stick tomorrow night. Um, just be watching um, tomorrow afternoon. I will, um, I will share that once I know that things are good and that I'm going to get home in time in order to do that. So, I haven't done a paint stick in a long time. So, pretty excited about doing one of those again. And it's also patriotic. So, and then after that, I'm, I'm going to do something different. Uh, I got my square wreath form ready. I think I'm going to do the watermelon. Because uh, I want to put that ant on there that I got. What am I working on? We are working on a wreath that has no sign. I've never made one, and um, Jessica told me that she has sold so many of these, so I thought, I'm gonna give it a try, right? So, that's what I'm doing. So, I am not, I don't think I've ever made a wreath that didn't have a sign, but I kind of like this color, so what do you guys think? Like it? The burlap with the navy blue, this really, really, I love this blue. I don't know if it's considered navy or royal. It looks a little darker. It's got some white in it. I don't know. Oh, my Alexa started talking. I'm like, who's talking? Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, Chrissy. Hi, Nicola. How are you? I lost um, some of the comments are scrolling up at the top. Let me see what's going on here. Hey, Tess. How are you? So I cut these at 22 inches. I guess I forgot to tell you that. So the blue was cut at 22 inches. For one, because I really didn't care. Um, it wasn't like I wanted the burlap to be showing, because like I said, there's not really going to be a sign. But some of the ribbon that I have picked out is a burlapy looking ribbon, you know, like um, tan and beige and um, so. I think it looks pretty cool. Very excited about that, so we'll see. Still trying to get up the nerve to do the Unique in the Creek board. Anybody else getting up the, it's not so much the nerve, it's just the time that it takes to prepare the stuff for the Unique in the Creek board. So I did tell my daughter-in-law, she picked out something on, she has, she doesn't have very much space at all. Even her pancake wreath that I made her last year got smushed, that's how small. I don't know why, but her doors just don't have very much space between them at all. So she wanted the unique in the creek board and something for, you know, patriotic. But there isn't any, like, burlap stuff to be found. So I told her to be looking for something for fall because I could probably get the right mesh for fall. So, so we'll see. And her door has direct sunlight, so her wreaths only last like one season because they're pretty, pretty faded, pretty bad. She doesn't have a porch or an overhang or anything. 
and she doesn't have a tree like I don't have a porch or an overhang either um, I have a small overhang but I have a lot of shade in the late afternoon so it saves mine from being too badly um, faded Mm -hmm. Am I missing a roll or a piece? I thought I had enough, but I have another roll here, but did I drop one? That's what happens. So I'll probably go around there and look. I don't think anybody's here, but the dog thinks somebody's here. Oh, maybe somebody is here. Nobody's here. Well, maybe somebody is here. You know, we got the door alarm dogs, right? Hey, Rachel. It might be Riker, but I don't know. All right, let's just make sure I didn't lose a piece. I swore I ended up with enough, but maybe not. Maybe not. Or new comments, sorry. Once you pin something, sometimes you don't see all your comments. Yes, it's very pretty. Do to do. So we will see how this will turn out. Has anybody else made wreaths without a sign? made one yesterday Teresa good have you made a lot and have you had good luck with selling them kind of sounds like that might be Joshua's girlfriend I'm not sure I did cut these at 13. I probably 
could have done 12, but I thought if I'm not putting a sign in it, I wanted uh, the ribbons to really be abundant. So that's why I went ahead and did 13. the ribbon too tight you did it all the time at the boutique I just feel like a sign's supposed to be a part of it I'm so used to signs but we'll see I mean um, I'm good with that I really don't well I do have a couple of other um, patriotic signs that I could always like offer you know like put it in my Etsy shop as two ways like with sign or without um, so I don't know For a special or she bought three. Oh, only one with that sign. I love those special orders. That's a good deal. Good for you. Congratulations. Don't forget again about um, Create with Addiction RN. Um, it's a free group. Please um, request to join the group. glitter everywhere I took my sheets off my bed today and there was so much glitter in my sheets <laughs> I'm like oh man crazy we all have that right the dogs have glitter embedded in them I love this truck ribbon. Love it. Next year, I'm going to order a lot more um, 50 yard rolls of patriotic ribbon. I've gone through a lot of patriotic ribbon, but I did buy a lot when we went to Sims because I knew I would be making a lot because I like patriotic and we're a military family so I start in April and usually I make patriotic all the way up until September so we'll see my son's overseas
<laughs> oh, that's funny. That's really funny. I have glitter in my car from, I haven't taken, well, that's not true, I will say. I used to deliver a lot of wreaths. Every, like, every week I was taking wreaths to work with me and delivering them to different nurses and stuff. And, um, uh, <laughs> And I'm not kidding. I had glitter everywhere in my car. Everywhere. But it's, I mean, you just can't get rid of it. You know, it's just, it just stays there. You know, it's just it's like a part of your life. Um, I mean, like my husband, who doesn't rarely come down to this part of the basement, um, like I'll be, we'll go somewhere on a Saturday and I'm like, you're glistening. You know, I see glitter everywhere. So, he has his head shaved. And he has a mustache, so I'll see it in his mustache a lot, too. I think it's my son. It's my son. I told you I thought it was his girlfriend up there. Hard tell him what he wanted. I'm surprised he's here. He's got to work tomorrow. So anyway, hi Lynn, how are you? I'm not getting any pictures. Did you, uh, I'm on a live, just so you know. Um, Can I come say hello to everybody? Sure. Where am I at? Is it, you um, need to look here. <laughs> <laughs> hello everyone. That's right, I'm right here. Oh, now look what you made me do. You did it. <laughs> I didn't touch anything. <laughs> Hi. Mm -hmm. How are you, son? I'm good. How's the reason going? It's going good. So, you guys up here for getting stuff or what? Um, yeah, I'm dropping stuff off. Long yeah. story short, I'm leaving the charger here now Why? for the weekend. Well, I'll explain later. Oh, uh, okay. Liven. Liven. That's why. Liven. Well, I'm not living. Okay. Is that, right. is that the right word for that? Yep. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Are you off Friday still? Uh, yeah, but I got drill. Oh, you got drill this weekend. Mm -hmm. okay. Like I, I have to be there Friday. Friday. It's a oh. three-day drill. Three day drill. Alrighty. Well, maybe I'll call you while I'm working tomorrow. Well, I hope everybody's enjoying the reef. They are. I'm sure. Rachel says hi. Hello, Rachel. Amanda says her dogs have glitter in their fur. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about how the dogs have glitter everywhere. Thor keeps bringing Josh's rope. Cause that's what he does. So, all right, all right, son. Well, I could. I heard somebody upstairs, and I'm like, it sounds like Josh's girlfriend. That's odd that <laughs> she's here without Joshua. So, yep. Lynn says I'm the best. Thank you, Lynn. I haven't seen any pictures. Did you tell me why you haven't sent? Oh, Amanda says I'm the best. Yeah, your mom's the best. She is. She <laughs> really is. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Very I fortunate. I try. I try to be a good mom and a good friend and a good wife and a good nurse and all the, and a good wreath maker. You're doing great. <laughs> I love you, mom. I like your hair. Thank you. I just got it cut after work. Did you? Good. I love you too, son. Be careful. We'll be Courtney's driving. Okay. Well, good. I'm baking her. All right. All right. Have a good. I'll talk to you later. Be good at drill. Be careful. I sent you sent them to on through um, Facebook or uh, through text message because I didn't get anything from you in a long time, Lynn. Let me look. Just double check. Make sure I didn't miss you. But no, I haven't gotten a text from you in a long time. Nope, nothing. Yeah, send them again. I have to post pictures of Kayla's, um, oh, thanks, um, of Kayla's mailbox swag. I put her bumblebee swag up, her beehive swag, uh, mailbox swag up today. But I didn't get any pictures posted. I did do that. I went and did that. All right, so there we go. We got that. So let's let's see. So I was thinking. 
So that's not going to be, I'm not going to like that probably. Because I think that's not going to be, oh, I think that'll be all right. Let's just cut one and see. Because now I realize that it's going to be on top of the burlap on burlap, and I don't know if I like that or not. So we'll just cut one and see. For a funky bow. I do have a very sweet son. They are very sweet. Both of them. Um, Joshua's always been sweet. <laughs> Adam grew into it. <laughs> Tristan's very sweet too. And he grew into his as well. So I think their wives made them do something. Josh was always just been sweet. So the other two had to get married to be sweet. <laughs> you know how that goes. The wife changes them. They become different people when they get married. So hi Dawn. Thanks for joining. So this is the funky bow. Let's see how it looks. So we may do two and see. Oh my goodness, my nose is itching from this burlap. Itching, itching, itching. All right, tell me what you think. You like it? I kind of do like it. What do you think? Oh, I'm sure he will. I am sure he will, Amanda. So what do you think? Thumbs up or hearts? I like it. I kind of like it. So I'm going to cut one more. And let's see what we got. So if you haven't already uh, signed up for the um, group, Create with Addiction RN, it's a free group. It's just a place for us to post lives and pictures of our projects. Um, please do so. So this is cut to 26 inches. And I'm putting those in the half ties. So there's no um, there's no ruffle behind it. I kinda like it. I think we're gonna go with it. We're just gonna go with it. Just go with it. Quit overthinking things. I'm an overthinker. Amanda is an overthinker. Amanda's project today was beautiful and it just wasn't the way she thought she had envisioned it in her head and that is the hardest part for us crafters isn't it when we have something envisioned in our head and then it doesn't really turn out that way and then we like we can't sometimes we just have a breakdown <laughs> so it happens to all of us but her project was gorgeous and i have no doubt that she is not going to uh fix it and revamp it to be beautiful. Hi Annie, thanks for joining. So if you haven't already sprinkled the love, bless my page, I greatly appreciate it. And um, again, go watch some YouTube videos. If you've already signed up um, for my YouTube channel, go watch some videos. That gives you more entries to win. Annie, is it true that you watch like, um, 17 lives. <laughs> Happens all the time. 
Hi, Carol. You were heartbroken. <laughs> oh, there's Lynn's things. Good. Oh, they're pretty from what I can see just from the little picture. It turned out good. You're fine. There is no time. You know, I don't... Um, I try and get on everybody's live, at, you know, but I'm used to working a full-time job, so it's like, I may not get there at the beginning. I try not to ask too many questions, but, you know, this is a volunteer army, right? Hi, Linda. Thanks for joining. Thank you. So, um, I'm just, I appreciate you guys. So any any time you can give me, that's all I care about. Any that that you give me some, that's I get it. Life is busy. We all are trying to build this business. We all have families. We all have some of us have extra uh, other jobs as well, or we're doing multiple things in this business to build it, like selling supplies and just not crafting. You know. Um, Crafting alone and trying to put together Pinterest it clearly is hard <laughs> for me anyway. We do all have different schedules and we're all in different time zones. I mean, I'm Central Time. I know Dawn's Eastern. Annie, I think, is Eastern as well. So I just am appreciative that you guys got on and spent some time with me. I'm really liking that. What do you guys think? Can you see? Oh, that's true. The interaction is just as much a part of, yes, I agree with that, Amanda. Because I'm like, oh man, if I type that, they're not gonna get my, my comment anyway, right? So, absolutely. Yeah, so that was my son Joshua, and he is in the Army National Guard as well. So he's got drill this weekend, and he's also going to be deploying in February. So keep my family in your prayers because I really want my one son to be home from overseas before the other son goes. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, there's. this is my first like wreath without a sign. So, I think it's turned out pretty full. I know I gotta do some, like, fixing of ribbon because I'm mashing things and moving things around. So, I have to fix some of it. All right, where did that, I think when I do that, can't find the pipe cleaner. There we go. Yeah, I'm like so sad I have to go back to work tomorrow. But I have to make some money to support my ribbon habit. <laughs> this is supporting some of it. Don't get me wrong. But, um, not as much as I spend. <laughs> Because I love ribbon. Oh, me too. Me too. I know. I don't know how people do it. I did finally figure out how to do, because I listened to the call yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, Tuesday. And I so I finally did figure out how to start it on the computer and finish it off of my phone because, um, I always have pictures on my phone and then I'm having a hard time getting the pictures from my phone to my computer. And I mean, you would think it would be easy, right? No. <laughs> so I finally did from the, from the call yesterday, 
I'm like so glad I was on the call. So from the call yesterday, I figured that out. That's the thing. It's like, I just feel like, how do people know all this stuff? All right, so there's all that. So there's the funky bows, and then I will be uh, fixing these. I'm gonna tighten up these pipe cleaners and then cut them off, so that will be happening as well. So here's the my version of like the Terry bow. So I got um, tails coming out everywhere, pretty much. I don't even know if it's really a rhyme or reason, but it's kind of what I did. So there's a Terry bow one, and I didn't cut the back off, hang on. I still have to do um, either angles or um, dovetails. So that's going to go here. I might end up doing one more. I don't know. Because like I said, I want this to be like ribbon heaven. So does it need another one like here? I don't know. Or do I? I saw somebody just have one bow in the center. What do you guys think? Make another one and do like have one that so this is like draping down and then do another like terry bow. Do I have an order for this? No. If you're asking me, Linda, I do not. No, I'm just making it because I've never made one before. In the middle, in the center. Well, we got two in the centers. And then just not, I could actually sell this as an extra bow with it, right? And maybe they could put this, sell this as a set, and then they could put this, um, no, no sign. This this wreath is made without a sign. That's why all the ribbon. That's why all the ribbons in here. Um, Tammy um, from Polka Dot Wreath Co. said that she does that, and then so I was kind of doing a survey from some of my lives, and I've talked to so many people that have sold these without without signs. So I thought I haven't tried one. So here it is. This is my try. <laughs> um, So I could sell it with a set though, like that bow could go on a light post or um, or their mailbox, could match their mailbox. Uh, what do I want to do with that? Oh, I think I'm just going to go at an angle. hardly ever do angled so I'm always afraid I'm gonna cut it wrong I normally do um, V's you know the dovetails
Thank you, everybody. I think you're right. So it's going to go like in the center here. I'm not going to put it in because I'm going to lay down the other bow or the other ribbons, fix them, and then do the ties. So I'll just kind of stick it through here for a minute. Yep, poster, mailbox, anything. I'm probably going to have to add some, um, <laughs> some pipe cleaner to this bow because this wreath is pretty thick. And um, it's not going through. <laughs> and I don't want to smash it. This is the whole point, right? So. So anyway, so we think. Good deal, huh? Hey, and I completed within it about an hour. Super duper. All right, everybody. Well, I'm going to head off here. And uh, don't forget, I did have a, a video come up on YouTube tonight that was just uh, released, um, a recording. So go over there and check it out. Sheena, I know you've been watching my stuff, so there was a new one tonight. So um, check it out. If you haven't subscribed to YouTube, please do so. We were like 120 something away, I think. So um, I'm super excited. So go over and um, check over on YouTube so that we can do a giveaway. I missed somebody's comment. There was something up here. Oh, beautiful dream. Oh, I might need to add across the middle to keep it from drooping. That's possible. That's very possible. Yep. <laughs> you, hope, you hope I don't have to ship it? Yeah, because it might have to be flat, right? Absolutely. So, all right, everybody. Thanks again. I truly appreciate it. You guys are such a blessing um, to me and my my life. So, again, thank you guys so much. And I will see you hopefully tomorrow night. And um, don't forget YouTube every Wednesday and Friday, 8 o'clock. So, thanks again, everybody. You guys are awesome, awesome. I just can't tell you how much I appreciate you all. So, thank you so much. Good night. Be blessed.